update on our tomatoes here. Everything looks really good. All the red ones are gone. Kids came in here and cleaned them out yesterday. Just sat in here and eating them. At least they're eating their vegetables, right? Now I know before I don't only seen a couple of the big ones. I can get through here. But really we got beef tomatoes all over the place. And they're all growing. I can get it. Oh, there you are. Two there. They're just everywhere. Everything's growing so nicely. But we're pretty crowded in here. Now the mistake we made was we didn't take the little shooters off like we were planning on doing. We just let it get carried away. And so we really have more branches on these plants that are necessary. So it's taking a little more effort for the plants to give us the, uh, the tomatoes themselves. We're getting through the blooms. Now today I had to, just to get in here, we had to pull all these up and then tie them to strings and just wrap them around so they're a little like all bunched in here and kind of the twisted together but just so we could walk through here because we had to water today we used pond water because our new the biodigester you know the nutrients in that haven't well not the nutrients but nothing it hasn't um, digested enough yet for us to use it so we're still using the pond water and we normally like I said we wouldn't be watering in here at all but um, with the cold that we've had we've had to um, close this up we opened it up today because it did get pretty warm in here it was 110 this morning and the plants loved it but of course that is way hotter than necessary but if we it had gotten into the 40s last night so it might again today but look everything's so beautiful so for our first experiment with this this is just awesome now I do want to give a little shout out to uh, CB from CB's greenhouse him and Renee and their lovely cat Tabitha am I saying that right he's given me uh, some advice on on the tomatoes whether it be from me just texting on videos back and forth or me just watching his videos and if you guys are really into growing tomatoes or growing anything you need to check out their channel it's wonderful it's just filled with all kinds of information especially if you don't have a, a big area to grow in if you're kind he has a uh, different container gardens and one might be the perfect garden for you that's like what we're trying we tried like the the huga culture the a little bit of the permaculture we're trying a little area over there and this is just another type of mound that we're trying and so we're just trying to experiment and see what works for us and he's been experimenting for way longer and has much better results than uh, we have. Right now there's not much going on in his channel because he is under a frost, but he has a plethora of information on backlogs of uh, videos that you really need to check out. Any gardener, even if it's just, you know, growing your herbs, he's got some information that really might help. So I really think you guys should go check him out and Renee out. She does all kinds of canning and uh, stuff like that along with all the hard work she puts into her gardening. She does the after work too. Anyways, I just wanted to mention them to you. Um, he also, he had given me, told me what, uh, not given me, he had told me what uh, thing he used to check the nutrients in his uh, in the water he uses so he he's very good at making sure that each plant gets the proper type of and the amount of nutrients I don't understand it but I do know you should to check for it 
pretty all those blooms are. Can you imagine when they get all those tomatoes? Anyways, go check him out. And I really think you guys should try this gardening out. Even if it's a little one and you think you can't do it, do it in your house. Amazing what you can come up with. I can't wait to see what these little guys come up come up to. It's the little flower. And I don't know if these all come to fruit at the same time what we're gonna do with it. We're thinking of maybe even drying some. We gotta look into seeing if we can make uh dried dried tomatoes, is that what they call them? Do you have any idea what I'm trying to say here? Anyways, that's my uh, my quick update. I just wanted to let you know that if you guys do do this, you should pick the little runners so that the trees don't bush out so much and grow straight up and you get a fuller batch of tomatoes instead of um, all the expended energy that these plants are giving to uh, support all the extra leaves and things that uh, really aren't that necessary to get the amount of tomatoes that we need or want. If you do it right, you can get a whole lot more with a whole lot less. Anyways, that's it for now. Please hit that like button, share, and please give us some comments, give us some ideas of what, how you guys are doing it. If you're doing it, if you're not doing it, why you're not doing it. Anyways, talk to you soon.